Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and Tim and I'm doing an at Ignister deck profile. I'm really excited for this one because this deck actually has the very first Link 6 in the entire game, which is insane, and it's so good in this deck, too. It's so easy to summon as well because this deck has a lot of ways to special summon monsters with AI Ignister Lamb, which is a really cool field spell as well and has a lot of searchability just with your cards like uh, Picari and stuff like that in the deck. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below because we have some awesome rewards for you guys like getting your name in the description of every single video, getting a signed card sent to the mail, or even getting a request a deck profile just like this one every single month that you are a patron. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Picari the Adding Nister, which is a really cool card. Because if this card is normal or special summon, you can add a Adagnister spell or trap, or a AI spell or trap directly from your deck to your hand. And you can target an Adagnister monster you control, and its level becomes 4 until the end phase of the turn, which can help you get into your XYZ plays. Then we play two copies of a Chi Chi, or three copies of a Chi Chi. Uh, Chi Chi is really good because if this card is normal or special summoned, you get to target, you get to add a level four or lower adding this to monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of a Chi Chi. And at the start of the damage step, when your Cyber's monster battles, you can banish this card from your graveyard and destroy that monster you control, and you can um, only use the effect of a Chi Chi once per turn. Then we play two copies of Baruru. Baruru is really good as a tuner monster. I just play her at two. Or him at two, uh, because if this card is um, normal or special summon, you can send an adding Nister monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for a synchro monster of a cyverse monster, then you can target one monster in your graveyard that was used as a synchro material, except this card, and then special summon it. So basically, you special summon the other material back from the graveyard. I play um, two copies of uh, Doyon. Uh, Doyon is a really good card because. If it's normal or special summon, you get to target an Adagnist or monster in your graveyard and add it back to your hand. And if this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for a Link monster of a Cyverse monster, you can add an adding or AI spell or trap from your graveyard and add it to your hand, which is really good to be able to get you more of your spells and traps back to reuse them, like your AI reborns and stuff like that. Um, I play two copies of Hayari. Um, Hayari is really good because if you control an adding this to your monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Um, and if this card is, uh, if this card is on the field, you can tribute one other Cyverse monster to add a level 5 or higher adding this to your monster from your deck to your hand. And if you do, this card's level becomes 4 until the end phase of the turn. And if you tributed a Link monster um, to activate this card, you can add an AI Ritual from your deck to your hand as well. Which is really helpful because basically you're searching the Water Leviathan and the copy of your AI's Ritual as well. So you can immediately Ritual Summon into that copy of AI's Ritual. We play uh, two copies of Doshin. Um, Doshin is really good because if you control an Adagnister monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And you can target a Link monster in your graveyard, return it to the extra deck, and if you do then you get to add an AI love fusion from your deck to your hand, which is really good to be able to add your AI spells and traps directly from your deck to your hand. Now, we play one copy of the new um, Gishara Adding Nister, which I just call it the Adding Nister Sword. This card's a neat tech card. I like it as a one of. I probably would never play it in any more than one, which it doesn't mean by any means that it's a bad card. I just feel like it's a one of in the deck because it's... It's good, but you just need one. Because basically what this card does is when a Link monster is destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card from your hand. And then um, when, you're, when, you, um, when your Link monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to that uh, monster that it destroys original attack. And then when an attack is declared involving a Link monster you control and an opponent's monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. And then and the um, ex attack of that monster becomes 3,000, which is really cool. Or both of the monsters' attacks become 3,000, which is really good. I like that effect because it just levels the playing field if you're going to play, if you're attacking against a monster that's really big. This card can protect your monsters. Um, I play two copies of uh, Gachira. I think it's Gachira. I think I'm saying that right. Though what this card does is, basically, I like this one at two because it has a really neat effect that the first time each Cyverse monster you control would be destroyed by a ba uh, card effect, uh, each turn it's not destroyed. And then it also has a special summon ability that lets you target a Cyverse effect monster you control and negate its effects and if you use special summon this card in your hand. And if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to target a face-up monster you control and that target is unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end phase of the next turn, which is a really good effect just to be able to get those extra 
um, protections on your cards. I play three copies of Parallel Xyz. Parallel Xyz just helps us go into link plays like crazy because this card is just so good at link plays because if this card is special summoned by the effect of a Parallel Xyz, its level becomes four, which is going to help us go into XYZ plays. But it also lets you do the effect of if you link summon, you can special summon this card to a zone that that link monster points to. And if this card is normal or special summon, then you can special summon a pair of Lexies from your deck. So if you special summon one, you're going to get the second one and be able to use it as XYZ play or be able to use it for a link play, which is super beneficial and just pushes this deck over the limit of what it can do. One copy of Water Leviathan. Water Leviathan helps out because you can ritual summon this card with AI Ritual. And if this card is ritual summon, you return all monsters your opponent controls with 2300 or less attack to the hand. And then you can target a face of monster your opponent controls and return all link monsters from the graveyard to the extra deck. And if you do, change that target attack monster to zero. And you can only use the effect of Water Leviathan once per turn. Once per turn, uh, once per battle, during damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can half the attack of the opponent's monster, which is really good for the deck. One copy of Paladin of Storm Dragon. Basically, you can um, ritual summon this card with Cyanet Ritual, and then you contribute this card to special summon a level 5 or higher Cyrus monster from your hand or deck, which usually, actually what I summon nowadays is the Adagnister Sword. I usually summon this card off the copy of the Paladin, which helps out the deck quite a lot to be able to get that card on the field. So, that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So, for the spells, we are going to be playing one copy of Cyanet Ritual. Cyanet Ritual is just basically here to ritual summon for our Water Leviathan or Paladin and Storm Dragon. AI Ritual is the same thing. It ritual summons our copy of the Water Leviathan, and it's searchable off of the Water Attic Nister. This card's really neat because it also has the ability that if this card is used to ritual summon a Cyverse Ritual Monster, you can uh, tribute an Attic Nister Monster from your hand or field whose total level equal or exceed the level of that monster. But if you control an Attic Nister Monster while well, this effect is activated, you can also use Attic Nister Monsters from your graveyard and banish them. We play a single copy of AI Love Fusion. AI Love Fusion is an interesting card that lets you fusion summon a Cyverse monster from your extra deck um, by using monster from your hand or field. And if you're, you use an adding Nister monster as a fusion material, you can also use a link monster from your opponent's side of the field. So it can grab up an opponent's monster um, as well as a fusion material to summon your Earth Golem, which is really cool. Um, three copies of AI Reborn. Uh, AI Reborn is really good because it lets you target a Attic Nister monster in your graveyard and special summon it. But you can't special summon for this turn after this card resolves except Cybers monsters, which is not a big deal because everything we're summoning in the entire deck is Cybers. Everything in the extra deck is Cybers and everything in the main deck is Cybers. So it's not that big of a deal. It also has the ability that... Um, that you, when an attack is declared involving a, two monsters, you can banish this card from your graveyard and add a card from your deck to your hand, um, and a card from your hand, and then uh, target a add Ignister or a AI spell or trap that's banished or in your graveyard and add it back to your hand, which is really good to be able to just bring your spells and traps back to your hand. Then we play the best card, single best card in the entire deck, which is three copies of um, Ignister at uh, AI Land which is really cool because if you can, this card is insanely good because what it does is, is if you control no monsters in your main monster zone, then you can special summon one level four or lower adding Nister monster from your hand. But for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon monsters with the same attribute um, by the effect of adding Nister land. Also, you cannot special summon monsters except for Cyverse monsters, even this card leaves field. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish an adding Nister monster from your grave and set this card on your side of the field. This card is so good at getting you link plays because you just special summon and adding this. You basically can get you three monsters on the field really fast using your normal summon because you can use this card to special summon a monster, link it away, go into the Karibo, the uh, angry Karibo, uh, special summon another monster off this effect, get its effect off, and then link both of them away into your extra monster zone, and then use special summon again from your hand, and then normal summon one time. And then you get four materials straight on your field, because a lot of your monsters are going to search anyways. Then we play three copies of Sign Up Mining, because it lets you send a card from your hand to the graveyard to add a level four lower cybers monster from your deck to your hand. Three copies of Dark Ruler, no more. This card's a really neat tech card in the deck, because it just shuts down your opponent's field, and it's really nice, especially if you get pushed to go second. Because usually you want to go second in this deck, and if you draw Draw Dark Ruler No More or Call by the Grave, it's going to really help you out play through your opponent's stuff 
because if your opponent establishes a really crazy board, the Dark Ruler Namor is going to stop that and let you play your board to be able to stop your opponent from doing all their stuff. And then Call by the Grave is just going to stop the hand traps. So you're basically stopping hand and field with both of these. So if you draw both of these, you pretty much got it as long as you have a really good hand to go along with it, like an Achichi, um, the copy of Adding Mr. Land, and maybe a, a Picari. You've got an insane hand right there. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. We don't play any traps. Um, but we do play a lot of cool extra deck monsters. So, we're going to be playing a single copy of the Arrival Cyber's Attic Mister. This is essentially the boss of the entire deck. And it, what it does is you have to put three monsters with different attributes into this card. And you can only use the effect of the Arrival once per turn. And the original attack of this card becomes a thousand times the number of Link materials used to, or to Link summon this card. Because it's about a ritual to summon this card. And it's unaffected by other card effects. And then once per turn you can target one other monster if... Uh, on the field and destroy it and if you do you special summon an adding nister token that's a level one zero zero two zone this card points to which it has plenty of options it has plenty of options to special summon it um it's a really really good card uh because it does go up by the amount of link materials you put into it and it's unaffected by everything and it pops something that is a really good card i was actually really surprised that this card was only a um super rare I'm, I'm really surprised this card was an ultra or secret. Then we play a single copy of Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. Dark Fluid's pretty easy to summon this deck. That was the original boss monster of the deck until the arrival came out. But basically what this card does is if it's Link Summoned, you can place counters on it equal to the number of different types of Cyverse monsters in your graveyard between Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, and XYZ. And, it, and then this card gains 2500 attack for each counter on it during the battle phase only. And then when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can quick effect, remove one counter from this card, and negate the activation. Um, and if you do, um, you can negate the activation. Also, the effect was activated between this card's attack and de declaration to end the damage step. You can make another attack. This card can get really big along with the arrival. Um, but basically, this is the sword of the deck and this is the shield of the deck. Let me play a single copy of Access Code Talker. Access Code Talker is insanely good in this deck because you have so many different attributes that you're going to be linking away with. But basically your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. And if this card is Link Summoned, you can target one Link monster that was used as a material from this card. And this card gains attack equal to that monster's Link rating times 1,000. And then you can banish a Link monster from your graveyard and destroy one card your opponent controls. And for the rest of the turn, you cannot banish monsters with the same attribute as that material. But we have a couple of different attributes between Dark, Water, Fire, Earth, stuff like that that we can use. Then we play two copies of Dark Templar. Dark Templar is the enabler for the entire deck because if you special summon, if uh, if a monster special summon to his own, this card points to, then you can special summon um, as many level four or lower adding this your monsters from your graveyard as possible to zones this card points to, but their effects are negated. And when this card destroys one monster battle, you can special summon one Cyverse monster from your graveyard, which is really good. Just be able to swarm the field. Fire Phoenix, because Fire Phoenix is just really good because during your damage calculations, card attacks, you can flick damage to your opponent equal to this card's original attack instead. If you do, your opponent takes no battle damage um, during that battle. Um, and if this card destroys the opponent, if this card is destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. And during the standby phase, after this Link Summon card was destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your uh, graveyard, which just replaces itself, which is super nice. Cypher Switch, because she works with your ritual monsters. To be able to get them out of the deck. Cyverse, uh, Wick Kid. Wick Kid is here because it works with the Synchro Monsters in the deck. And then my new surprise tech is a Splash Magician. Splash Magician is really good in here. Because a lot of people are underestimating Splash Magician. But what this card does is it lets you target a Cyverse Monster in your graveyard. And special summon the defense position. But you negate its effects. And also you cannot special summon monster risk turn. Except for Cyverse Monsters. Which doesn't work really well in a lot of decks. But this card, this card lets us Link Climb really easily into a copy of the Phoenix or even into Access Code Talker, and it gets into this additional banish from the graveyard with Access Code Talker. Then I play two copies of what I call the Angry Karibo, um, but basically what this card does is, is it's it's the starter card of the deck, because when you normal summon your Bakari or your Chichi, so you don't have anything in your uh, main monster zone for the adding this to your land, or the AI land, you're going to link into this card first, and then once you link into this card, you can start going into your other link plays. But when your opponent activates a trap card, you can quick effect, uh, tribute this card, negate the activation of you, banish it, and if this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute an adding Nister monster that was summoned from your extra deck, and then special summon this card. The Earth uh, Golem is really cool because you can use it with other monsters that your opponent has. Like if your opponent has a Link monster, you can fusion summon that Link monster away uh, and summon this card, which is cool. 
Um, and if this card attacks um, that was special summon from the X deck, it gains attack equal to the original attack of the opponent's monster that's attacking. And then when this card is destroyed by battle, you can target adding Mr. or Cyber's monster in your graveyard and then special summon it, which is super cool. A single copy of Wind Pegasus. We only go in we go into Wind Pegasus sometimes when we're trying to go for Dark Fluid, but it's not all the time that you go for this card anymore. Because during um, your main phase, you can destroy spell traps up to the number of adding Mr. Monster to your opponent controls, or you control, excuse me. And another card you control is destroyed by battle or by an opponent's card effect. While this card's on the field or in the graveyard, you can banish this card, and then target one card your opponent controls and shuffle it into the deck. And then I play two copies of Light Dragon. Light Dragon is super cool because it has multiple pops. Because if this card you control will be destroyed by a card effect, you can detach material from this card um, instead. And then you can also activate these effects uh, once per turn. To detach material from this card, destroy face-up cards in your opponent's control up to the number adding this you control. And then when another Cyrus monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can special summon one Link monster from your graveyard, which is really good. So... That's it for the deck, guys. I know it is a wall of text with these cybers or, or these uh, adding Nister monsters, but the deck is so worth playing because it's really fun. If you like decks like DDDs, this deck is like a lot like DDDs to me, where it just special summons a bunch of monsters to your side of the field and then summons the arrival. Where adding Nisters do something different that DDDs don't. DDDs pretty much special summon out uh, a bunch of monsters to negate, where this deck summons adding Mr. the Arrival and OTK as your opponent. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck. It's super, super fun to be able to play around with, and I highly recommend you guys give this deck a try. It is probably going to get reprinted in the... I think it's going to get reprinted in the Mega Tens. Don't want me to that. Um, I don't, I'm not quite sure what is going to be in the Mega Tens yet, but definitely, definitely give this deck a try if you do get the opportunity because it's super fun. I don't think it's as expensive as when it came out, but it's still really fun to play around with it, and I highly recommend you guys give it a try. So, anyways, guys, this is Darkroom Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on the screen, come part of the notification squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.